welcome back to the vlog or welcome if you are not new here my name is Julie and I'm a stay-at-home mom of three and it has been a while since I picked up the camera um I kind of just like took a break I have been so busy at Julie T's which is if you do not know my small business I make custom t-shirts and all of that jazz um so yeah I've been really busy with that and I just kind of needed to like choose one and I chose obviously my t-shirts because I had people placing orders. YouTube is my passion but t-shirt making pays the bills. So um, I wanted to pick up the vlog today. I am, I do have a few shirts I need to finish so I figured I would film that for you guys. Show you a little glimpse of me working from home and all of that fun stuff. Um, I do have dishes to get done. I just started them so we will continue to do that. I already ate breakfast and I did my makeup. I am not doing my hair today because I have Zumba tonight. I'm starting back at Zumba. I'm going every Wednesday, just once a week, something fun for me to do. Um, I'll be going with my mom and uh, possibly my sister-in-laws, both of them. So I'm not positive if they're a little. I'm not positive if they're going or not, but very excited to. Start back, just kind of doing something for myself as well as um, it being exercise and getting my body moving. Uh, the weather has been better in upstate New York. This week is like in the 40s, which to some people is really cold, but that's like typical spring weather for us. So um, I really would like to start going for walks with the kids and bike rides and things like that. Uh, maybe when it's like in the higher 50s. <laughs> So for now, I am very excited to do Zumba on Wednesdays and um, yeah, we have some laundry to get caught up on, all the, you know, daily tasks to get done. So if you want to hang out with me for the day, then just keep watching. I would love to spend the day with you. Hi, do you want to give him a pup date? Do you want to tell him how big you are, Bowman? Bo, how big are you? How big are you, Bo? Are you so big? Oh, he's such a good boy. Oh, you're such a good boy. So much energy. So much of that puppy energy. Yes, you love to play, don't you? Guys, he's been doing so much better with potty training. Huh? You're a good boy. <laughs> All right, let's get some dishes done. Let's get this kitchen nice and cleaned up. I feel like that's the first thing that I do in any day. It doesn't matter if I'm working from home or if I'm just hanging out. I always like to have a cleaned up kitchen, all the dishes put away in the dishwasher and ready to go for the night ahead and all of that. Does anybody else feel like when their kitchen is put together, their life just feels a little bit more put together? That's totally how I feel. Okay, so I wanted to sit down with you guys and just kind of chit chat for a minute. Um, I've missed pulling out my camera. I've missed vlogging. I just, I kind of needed some time to focus on my business and um, really reevaluate like what my channel is. Um, I, I don't know guys, I've just been in like a weird place with YouTube and I think it's just because I get so frustrated because I put in so much work, so much work in my videos and it might not seem like much to you like if you don't make videos but um, ask anybody that does YouTube it's a lot of work it's hours of editing and filming and pulling out my camera and remembering when to pull it out and um, sitting at my computer and trying to find music for videos and trying to just find like the perfect happy medium I guess in um, the amount of time I put into it because right now it doesn't pay the bills it is 
extra cash here and there when I do get paid and it's great and all but it's just it's frustrating when I have I've been at it for four years um, and uh, it's just not it's not the growth that I hoped for four years ago um, I am blessed I am so blessed for everybody that does follow along on my channel but I feel like I just I need to give more than um, what I'm giving so my thought is I'm going to share more on um, of my small business if you don't care about that then I I'm gonna for sure put it in the titles but if you don't care to watch that then then don't I guess but that's just what's going on in my life right now um, I really want to share more like recipe videos because I'm always cooking um, I do share some cleaning here and there but I think I just need to like really niche down more I I hate to say that because I feel like your channel can be more than just one niche. Um, I don't think that you should have to just pick one thing that you're good at because we are human and we have talents and you don't just have one talent, you know what I mean? I love to clean. I love to keep my house at home and I think that's what my channel is going to be about mostly is just making my house a home, whether that be decorating, cleaning, cooking me being a mom and getting the chores done because I feel like my life is together when um my home is together I don't know if anybody else can relate if you can relate then great but um if you can't there's going to be something for everyone there is going to be cooking there's going to be cleaning there's going to be more than just day in the life and I think um what I'm getting at is in the titles it might say day in the life, but I'm going to really try to um, explain in the title what more it's about. It's not just getting it all done. I'm going to say working at my small business or small business work or how I run my small business and things like that. I think that is important um, to get more views and more traction on my channel. And I've just kind of been, I took a step back this week. Um, I don't even, I don't think, yeah, I didn't have a video go up this week and it's Wednesday. I don't have one planned other than maybe this one will go up on Friday. Um, but that's the first time in months and months that I haven't had one video go up at least in a week. But I just kind of wanted to sit down and figure out what it is that I'm passionate about, what I want to share on here more of, what I don't care to share, and um, I've kind of figured that out. I want to share more of me working in my small business. I want to share more gardening and um, because that's coming up soon, more cooking because I love to share recipes with you guys and I know that you love when I share them. So just things like that. So if you are excited about some new content, then please give this video a big thumbs up. Cup. Yes, are there planets on my on my drink? Are they planets in a rocket ship? Yeah. Yeah. That's boss. Yes. Mm. Oh and I think just sharing the real life motherhood, all the things, all the things we do, I think that's important. So if you are not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel um, and show your support. Anytime you give a video a thumbs up, it is supporting my channel. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh my goodness. Mm. But anyway, let's jump back in. <laughs> okay, so I have these shirts that I need to get pressed. Um, and I wanted to share with you kind of what I'm thinking for these. So uh, this one is ready. I'm going to get it ready and we'll press it. So... For starters, we need to turn on the heat press. I always press at about 400 degrees for about 60 seconds. So, there's that. Um, and as for these, uh, I will show you the back. I did not plan on pressing down in here. These are baseball mom tees, baseball nano, whatever. But, um, the bleach seeped through. So my thought is I'm going to lay my drop cloth down on the floor, get the fans going, get the heat light on, and I will show you what I do. Um, but I'm going to have to bleach the backs because it just kind of looks dumb. And this one it seeped through as well. So I'm just going to do that for these 
just to make it look better. And then I'm just going to hand wash them because I'm not going to start the washer for literally two shirts. So let's get that done. All right, to start with shirts, I lay down a drop cloth and then I put all the shirts out that I need to bleach. I use my heat lights and I always make sure to open the windows, turn on the fan so it's blowing out the windows, and I never let the kids come in my room when I'm bleaching. So I usually wait until Ryan's home and he's playing outside with them or they're over at grandma's house because the smell is pretty strong. But I will get these shirts going and then throw them in the wash. So. You'll be able to see a finished product of a shirt if you stay tuned till the end and you'll be able to see one of the shirts that I made. It turned out super cute. It was a shirt for my mom. If you guys are not following along with my Julie T's Instagram page, I'll leave it linked uh, down below. It's always linked down there. So that way you can keep up with what I'm posting, all the new products that I have. And if you have any sort of custom shirt that you want made, please feel free, message me, let me know. I'm sure I can help you out. All right, guys, I just got this in the mail from walmart.com. This denim jacket is seriously so cute. I think it's the, is it? It is the Time and True brand. I got it in an extra large, so it was just a bit oversized. Um, I can totally like button it up and everything like that. But it's so cute. I am in love with it. It's the perfect, like, black denim jacket for spring and it looks cute with regular jeans I wanted a denim jacket I don't like like when wearing a denim jacket on top and then having jeans on bottom I just think it looks funny so I thought this would look super cute I mean obviously not the Crocs that is not the vibe but I thought that was so cute how cute is that all right guys here is a better look. How cute is this? It's literally the perfect fit. I'm wearing my jeans from Wild Bee Boutique. They are the um, Can Can jeans, the ones without the holes. But how cute is this? I love it. It's so comfy. The material is a bit stretchy, so it's not like stiff or anything like that. And I think it's gonna wear like so perfectly. I love it. And like I said, it was only $19.99. Like, you cannot go wrong. It's so cute. Love it. Okay, these look a lot cuter with the skinny jeans, but I just kind of wanted to show you. I got these recently from TJ Maxx. How cute are they? They're the um, Margaritaville brand, but they're just like a slip-on, kind of like a van looking sneaker but they slip on super cute for like hanging out going shopping or something like that but I like the leopard print with the brown stripe I think people are silly when they say black does not go with brown because that's adorable but how cute are they I love them and I got them on the clearance rack so not sure if you're gonna be able to find them at TJ Maxx but they're very very comfortable all right, guys, I also wanted to show you this pair of shoes that I got at TJ Maxx as well. The lighting is kind of bright, but they're like a floral shoe. They're just a slip-on. They're by the brand Blowfish. I own one other pair of Blowfish shoes, and they are so comfortable. But, like, look how cute these are. Are these not perfect for, like, spring and summer? I'll get a little close-up. Like I said, these were $19.99, and they are so comfy just to, like, Slip on with a pair of jeans, go out the door, run your errands. I am seriously so in love. And they pair perfectly with this outfit. Some skinny jeans, a black denim jacket, this super cute top. I got this top from Shein, um, and it was very inexpensive, and it's super, super flowy, very forgiving. And I like to just do like a little front tuck. So that way it's not so long. But yeah, this is like the most comfy and cute outfit. I also wanted to share with you a little TJ Maxx haul. Um, in my recent video about like the clothing haul, I told you guys that we're going on vacation. We're actually going down south for Easter, so I'm very excited. But here is Grant's Easter outfit. Now, this is just like a button-up shirt, and it did come with shorts. I don't really know how the weather is going to be down there, so I figured, if anything, I'll just put a pair of jeans on him and call it good. But I loved the colors in this. How cute is that? It's so perfect for Easter. It's got a little, I think this is a clip-on. 
oh no, yep, it buttons. So a little button uh, bow tie, super cute. That was $14.99. And then I got him, he has like no shirts for church or dress up shirts. So I got him a few. Um, I got him this one. Uh, it's super lightweight, so cute. It's got like little leaves on it, I guess. Um, this one was $14.99 as well. And did it? Yes, it came with a pair of shorts. They all came with a pair of shorts. So they were all like a little outfit. So just some denim like shorts to go with that. And then how could I not? This is seriously so precious. And this was the cheapest one. And it was actually my favorite. It was $9.99 and it came with, again, just a pair of shorts. Um, we will see if they fit them because I did get the shirts in 3T just to make sure they'll fit them for a little while longer. Um, but I don't, I honestly, I don't know how big they're going to be on him. So anyway, I got him that one. And then for Weston, he didn't have like a spring colored shirt either. So I got him, is it the same brand? Might be. Yeah, it's the same brand as Grant's, which is Tommy Bahama. And Weston's shirt was $7.99. And it's just the cutest. Um, it's got purple and blue with a little bit of yellow. So the boys will be like in cute little plaid shirts with some jeans. And then Paisley has the dress like I showed in my recent clothing haul. So yeah, super cute clothes for vacation. Gonna put them up. That way they don't get worn until then. <laughs> All right guys, back to work. Grant is down for a nap. So I'm gonna go ahead and press some shirts. I wanna get my work done now. That way when he wakes up we can play a little bit and then I'll have my Zumba class. So. The day is flying by, it's already 12.30. Ryan will be home at 2.30 from work and hang out with him for a bit and then get ready for my Zumba class. So um, what I have to do next, I did get this one done. Here, I'll show you. So this is how I like package my shirts. Um, for local pickup people, I just put it in this like cellophane bag. So this is for a local pickup. I am not pressing shirts right now. I actually just put the wash or the load that I had in the wash in the dryer because you guys know I threw a few shirts in there. So we have about 20 minutes or so until they are dry. So I'm gonna go on here, do a little bit of work, go on my Instagram, see how those pictures are doing. I did post a bunch of pictures of the new inventory that went up. And I like to just kind of see what people are liking the most. Um, that kind of gives me an idea on some more to make and right now it looks like the one that's getting the most traction is the of course one of the like rolling stone type tees these ones always seem to do pretty well um so i am gonna go on etsy and see do you hear Bo is like squeaking on a squeaky toy right now it's all day long i'm gonna go on etsy and see what other rolling stone type PNGs I can get because they seem to be like the really really popular ones people love the different colored tongues my most popular shirt I think that I've sold so far if you did not know my website is always linked down below so you can check it out uh, that way you don't miss out on what's new what's being posted sales right now there's a 15% off sale until the 31st so if you're interested you can save 15% off by typing in the code thank you 15 but this one, this has been my best seller so far at Julie Tees. Uh, I actually own one of these tees because I loved it so much after I made it, but I have made tons and tons of these. I can't even tell you how many. Hello, mister. You're being rude. But something knocked you out. You felt your limited. I hope you guys like this video. I hope it gave you some motivation to get some stuff done. And I totally get it. It is busy, it is hard, it is not easy. Um, trying to juggle being a mama. We have a puppy and trying to keep my house somewhat cleaned up and organized as well as running a business. It is a lot, it is a ton of work, but I'm so truly grateful. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.